IBM API Connect provides a model-driven approach leveraging the loopback framework to create APIs. In this tutorial, I'll show how to create and test APIs using API Connect's API Designer. If you have not already installed API Connect on your laptop, please refer to the previous tutorial or product documentation and install IBM API Connect on your laptop before attempting these steps. To create a loopback project, go to a terminal window and type APIC loopback dash dash name API Connect demo. This command will generate several questions. We will accept the defaults. Name of the application, API Connect demo. Name of the directory where the project is saved, API Connect demo. And the kind of application, hello world. This will create my API Connect demo loopback project and I will return to the command prompt. We will change to project directory API Connect demo and run the command API C edit to start the API designer. The API designer opens in a browser window. Log in using your Bluemix user ID and password. Click on the Got It button on any informational pages you see. Click on the API API Connect demo to explore it in the Design, Assemble, and Source tabs. The Design tab is for designing your API. The Assemble tab allows you to assemble enforcement policies for APIs. The Source tab provides the source view of an open API definition or API swagger definition. To test the project, we need to start the service first. The service can be started either in the API Designer or the command line. In this tutorial, I'll use the API Designer. In the API Designer, click the Run button on the bottom left of the screen to start the microservice and the gateway service. Once the services are started, you will see the status of the services on the bottom of the screen along with the IP address and port numbers. Now we will test the API by clicking on the APIs tab and selecting the API API Connect demo. We will click on the Assemble tab to open the API in Assemble mode and the Invoke assembly will be open by default. Here we have the option to test the API. Click on the Test button and we will be able to select an operation to test. Click on Operation to see the pull down items and scroll down until you see message.greet. Select message.greet and scroll down in the navigation pane until you see the invoke button. Click invoke. You may see a digital certificate related warning as the certificate's common name is not localhost. Review and approve, then click invoke again. For a successful invoke, you will see a status code 200 under response in the navigation pane and the greeting message under body. This concludes the tutorial on creating a loopback project, exploring its APIs, starting the service, and testing the project by displaying the stored greeting. Thanks for watching.